down Pengi and Gatsu. Yep. Uh, who, who took down uh, Gatsu to lose this? Not sure. I'd have to look. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that's uh, right. Okay. Cool. Uh, Pengi, uh, being one of the players in uh, CFL PR, a uh, solid fox, right? Like one of the best yeah. fox, uh, players you guys have here in CFL. Yeah, Pengi is very, very methodical. He just kind of take, takes it slow. Or he doesn't take it slow, but he just picks apart the opponent, does what's optimal most time, whatever's the easiest damage, yeah. and just runs with it. Yeah, whatever opportunities he has, he takes full advantage of it. I played him a few times in tournament. Yeah, he's not too flashy by any means. But uh, d being flashy doesn't make you good, you know? Oh, surprise. Uh, Gatsu didn't go for like, the rising knee. I guess he was doing something else here. Yeah, can you explain that to me? What? Rising knee? Yeah, yeah. So when uh, Pengi was uh, coming up with the Firefox, uh, the angle he was in, yeah. um, Gatsu just kind of like just got up and hit him with the knee. Uh, oh, yeah, from like ledge jump knee, you mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not sure. I'm honestly seeing like stop. I would expect like ledge jump stop and cancel it on the stage kind of thing. Uh, I've seen Gatsu do that a ton. But, uh, alright, so oh, direct nice attack. Nice coming from Gatsu there. Can you pick up the Sesh Guard? Thank you, coming back. Get an edge guard here for Gatsu. I'm just using it with a nice solid back air. Alrighty. And of course, uh, when Gatsu's throwing out these back airs, uh, he's eliminating options for Pengi. You know? Yeah. It's, it's, uh, they're always well spaced and uh, really covering options that Pengi wants to do. And uh, it has to, you have to change your decision making around it. Uh, keeping it nice and even here. Alright, job reset? Alright. Oh, he gets him with uh, the soft back air. Oh, look at me, he like, catches him? Wow. Ooh, this good angle. Alright. Back air. Man, should be dead here. Grab ledge. Alright. So when Gatsu's uh, getting on ledge and uh, he does the getter attack, he's pretty much uh, moving the character model aside, correct? Yeah, you move your you move your character model to the edge of the stage, and it will often push, uh, when there's no hitbox on it, it'll push characters like Fox and Marth off. Uh, I remember uh, first seeing that from Two King. He made like a tutorial video about it. Like, yeah, Marth does it. Marth is probably the most common character to do it, but Falcon and a couple other characters can do it too. Oh, oh he had the read, but it was a little early. Or late, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, and uh, he, he's able to catch the second uh, up air on that. All right, so going into game two, probably going to see me Pokemon or Dreamland. Oh, no, runs it straight back. All right. He's going to run it back to uh, Yoshi's story. Peng, you felt like he had to take the, took in that. It's all about uh, keeping the momentum chain for Pengi. Oh man, that's scary stuff right there. Uh, Pengi can easily just lose his stock just by uh, getting hit by the nair. Yeah. Okay, nice fade away. Be able to uh, grab ledge. Yeah, but this is the same thing as the last matchup. Pengi's really just got to keep the pressure on Falcon and not let Gatsu go on the offensive. Because Fal Falcon's defensive options are overall pretty weak yeah. compared to Fox's. Uh, but his offensive options is t reaction tech chasing. He gets a lot out of his hits when he gets them. So he's got to take. He's got to put a lot of effort into keeping Falcon at disadvantage. In keep him in his shield. Keep him off stage. Making him unable to approach kind of thing. Right there. Uh, misses what, the dash yeah. match on the crouch. I, I love seeing Gatsu uh, use crouch cancel as a advantage just to see like a reaction from the other player. Yeah, there's I only like a couple options in that situation. You can only jab reset when Fox is under... I don't know if you can with Fal Falcon, actually. I, under, under, with Sheik, it's under 30. But uh, I'm not quite sure with Falcon. So your options are to power shield, the, react to the get-up attack and power shield it, which I've seen Gravy do several times. But that's horribly inconsistent because getting power shield inconsistent is just hard in general. Or you can dash back at a cr crouch and then try and dash back at a crouch behind you, which is also extremely difficult. So not a ton of good options there. You kind of just got to practice one and stick to it. Coming from Peggy right now. 
Right. Oh, should be a stock. Oh, no, but he misses the up air on Gatsu. Oh, Gatsu wants to get off stage. Uh, side B. What do you think? Side B. A little closer, and that would have been okay, but I don't know. It still was punishable. But, I mean, you have to mix it up with Falcon. Maybe air dodge, like, up and, up and towards the stage. Yeah. But uh, I don't know if I would put him close enough either. Uh, one of the wackiest uh, recoveries I've seen is uh, just a Falcon or like a Ganon like, throwing out like a punch, you know, a Ganon punch or a Falcon punch. <laughs> that, that doesn't work. Wacky, man, but like, you'd be surprised. Like, one of the most craziest things can work. Shout out to Mango. Mango being one of the craziest players. Oh, uh, the craziest rather. Like the movie coming from Mango there, but oh, he's on ledge. Off stage now. Good angle for Penny. I'm surprised Gods is not going for like uh, up air edge guards, like reverse up air kind of thing. But uh, maybe it feels it's safer to just get on stage and knee him. Try and catch his angle. I guess it's better being hit by the Firefox than being stuck off stage kind of thing. Don't try to shut that. Ooh. Okay, nice up air catching him on that platform. Yeah, right. He eats uh, the get-up attack. I mean, it was worth it to throw him yeah. off stage like this. And this could be it for Penny. Yeah, that should be it. Yeah. Penny not happy about that loss. Got to. So, so good. 